And today we're going to talk about RPR. Now I'm yeah. sure some of you like RPR, use RPR every day. Let us know how much you like it. What do you use? Why do you use RPR? Today we will have Katie Globoff with us. Hi, Katie. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for sharing knowledge with all our agents out there. Um, Katie, today we're going to focus more on how to use RPR for a listing presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, before we go more into the listing presentation detail, uh, let's talk to the people who never use RPR and why they should use RPR. Like I remember when I, when I was introduced to RPR a long time ago, I think probably nine years ago, the first thought I had in my mind is, why would I use RPR when I have the MLS? I can pull all the data from, from the MLS. It's another tool that I have to use. So that was my first thought. How would you answer that question? Well, you want to keep in mind, RPR doesn't want to compete with your MLS. Um, we are a tool that you're going to use in conjunction with your MLS to make you the best realtor that you could be. But when you look at the components of the MLS, you're only working with data that's been entered into the system by agents. So unless you have a proactive MLS, which most records, most MLSs do have a public record system behind it, but RPR, we aggregate over 300 different data sets into our platform. And one of those layers is that MLS history. So not only do you have that MLS information, but you have that public record information, you have that foreclosure information, you have the mortgage information, you have the taxes, you have marketplace statistics, you have schools, um, you have all of the marketplace demographics and map overlays. So it is really a powerful tool that gives you all of that data in one place. So it's time effective because it saves the agent time to be able to go to one resource and pull all of that information. And it's also cost effective because then they don't have to subscribe to all of these different platforms to be able to gain access to all of these tools. They can go to one place and access everything. Yeah, and what I just love about it, it's also the tax record. Like I used to have to always look at the tax record and, and go to uh, the regular website and go to the MLS. But when you're in RPR, you get everything in one page. Right. I love it. And you are a partner with NAR, right? We are. We are um, a wholly owned subsidiary company. So we are a member benefit to realtors. Uh, it's no upfront cost for you guys to enter into the platform. Um, it's a dues benefit. So when you pay your dues to NAR, uh, RPR is one of your benefits. Free. Free. Yes, use it. It's free. <laughs> now, and, and, and last thing before we talk about the listing presentation, if you're a real estate brokerage partner with RPR, the agent can get uh, all the report granted, right? We yeah. They can even put their pictures on all the reports and, and uh, listing presentation, correct? Right. Now, we get all of the agent's personal contact information from the participating MLS system. So it just feeds that data in. And the agents can go in to their profile and upload their own agent photo. But right off the bat, agents joining Alice and James have that powerful brokerage brand already in RPR. So their brokerage logo is going to be the dominating logo on all of the reports that they generate. Uh, your business partner, so mortgage company, title company, that information is going to appear on the reports. And Alice and James at a brokerage level can actually apply or upload custom pages that agents can use in their reports. So if you wanted to have a brokerage brand flyer or a marketing flyer that you wanted agents to be able to incorporate into their presentations, you can upload that and every agent in the office would have the ability to then not only use their own custom pages, but the Alice and James custom pages. Now let's talk about the listing presentation. I know it's one of the best products you have. Uh, I, I believe in with RPR, maybe there is more, I just know about the listing presentation. Why should agent use your listing presentation? 
Well, our listing presentation uh, is very comprehensive. <laughs> uh, you get a lot of detail, not only for the agent to understand what is going on with the property. It helps the agent determine seller's motivation because we have that clear history, which includes financing activity, foreclosure activity. Uh, it shows any prior sales transaction for that parcel, not only MLS sales transaction, but any type of transfer with the property. So if there was a separation in the household, and the property transferred from one spouse to another, or if the property went into a trust, uh, if they pulled a reverse mortgage, if they tried to list it as a rental, all of that information is incorporated to help the agent determine the seller's motivation. And then from a customer or client standpoint, you have our great pricing tools in RPR, and then you have a complete profile of what's going on in that owner's market. So you have the ability to share with them statistics for comparable properties. You can show market trends over a 24 month period. So have prices fluctuated uh, in a positive matter or have property values depreciated. You get your flood zone maps. It's so comprehensive. And when you go in as an agent and you're competing with other realtors in the market to get that listing, and you can go in and have all of those questions answered, not even if you need to answer them, um, but if that seller asks the question and you have that information to back up their questions, they're gonna see that you're the most knowledgeable realtor that you could be. And then you're backing it up with the pricing tools in RPR. It's a slam dunk. And I think what's happening now is the consumer wants so much more data. They want to know yeah. more about the property. And they only see one, one layer. They see this, this zero. I'm not going to put name out there, but they see what they're seeing on the internet. And us as professional, when you, we use something like RPR, we can give them more accuracy, more details about the property, the history of the property, uh, and so on. So uh, they feel more confident in making a decision. Is that right? I would agree with that. <laughs> now, uh, what about CMA tool? I, I believe RPR offer great CMA tools. Would you like to talk about that? We do. We offer great pricing tools in general. So we do have our RVM, and then we have two different types of CMAs that are available. We have a comparison analysis, uh, which is an estimate based off of your pre-selected comps. And then we do have a more detailed sales comparison analysis, uh, which really analyzes market trends over a time period. Uh, and allows an agent to make an adjustment uh, to comparable properties using a monetary amount if they're comfortable doing that. Okay. And what's great about our CMA tools is that in a single search, so you've identified your subject property, you're outlining your search for comps, and you, you use the same criteria that you would use in the MLS if you wanna be within the neighborhood or within a half mile if you want to outline the market area, if you want to be in a particular school zone, you have all of those boundaries to apply to your search for comparable properties. But RPR is not only going to look through the MLS for those comparable properties, it's going to look through public record for those comparable properties. So if there is a for sale by owner that closed, you know, 30 days ago, 40 days ago across the street and the criteria matches, it's going to come up for you to potentially select as a comparable property. So there's no property left uncovered uh, really when you're doing that CMA within RPR. And, and, and that's a good way to come back to your client during the listing presentation is what you see is really like MLS data and there is more is. than MLS data. And yeah. it's just what that picture for them said, hey, that's not it. Yeah. Now, um, you guys also offer a lot of uh, marketing material too that uh, agent can use. I, I, I saw some of your agent 
using RPR for like open house too. Um, you can give report to your sellers. You can use this, uh, this report for open house, mm -hmm. right? Don't reinvent the wheel. And it's way better than MLS data. Yeah. We have um, marketing reports for every task that an agent would need to complete. Um, if, and if I just back it up for a second, when you're generating a CMA in RPR, that CMA is not only tied to the seller's report, which is what's most commonly used for a listing presentation, but it's also tied to the property report and the mini property report, which are great tools for buyers to use and for agents that create a CMA to determine a purchase price for a property. So with our CMA tools, you're not tied to one report. Um, if you're working with sellers that are relocating out of state, uh, or if you're working with buyers who, who are moving from out of state, we have great neighborhood demographic reports and school reports that will feed them all the information they need for the local market. And then we have our one page property flyer, which is that open house flyer where you can pull up your subject property, customize your headline, customize your photo. It pulls in the public marketing remarks and you create your flyer. But not only can it be created for a property that you currently have listed, it can be created for any parcel in RPR at all. So whether you're using it as a tool when you're farming, and you're putting that flyer into mailboxes when you're walking your farm area and you're saying, hey, this is your property's RVM value. You have that data. Your property's value has increased 8% year over year. So you know what way that property's trending over time. And in about a minute and a half, you have that property flyer. Now, uh, remember everyone, you're welcome to ask question to Katie if you want to. Um, now I have a question, and I don't know if it's because we are a nationwide company, but I know all agents can have access to, they, they can do CMA in another state, they can do research uh, and do property value in another state uh, because they have access to uh, some other MLS do we have. Is it the same for everyone or is it just because uh, Alison James is a nationwide company? Can, um, can an agent, do CMA outside of the board they are in? Well, it's it works, RPR works almost like on a permission level. So okay. for agents that participate with multiple MLSs, so that you may have Alice and James uh, in a market where there's three or four dominating MLSs that agents have to participate with just as the cost to do business, they can essentially unlock their MLS data for all of those MLSs in their single RPR account. They can set that up under their profile. But even if they're just looking at market values for an area that they don't participate with, we still have all that public record data. So even though they're not getting direct or they may not be able to see sales from the MLS, it's still doing that second layer of pulling that public record information. And you see the market trends in those areas. So you can look at the list price versus sales price graphs, and you can look at um, those valuation graphs, and you can look at those, uh, we have year over year, property value graphs. We have distressed property graphs. So there's still a lot of the statistical information that agents would be able to access across the country because that is that backbone of RPR is that layer of statistical data. That's a great tool because sometimes you work with uh, with buyers or sellers that are in different states and, and you're able to understand I know I used to work in two different states. Mm -hmm. and it was a great tool to have RPR for that and, and getting some of the uh, comparable in different states. Right. Now, talk about the mobile app. Is that a new product you guys have or it's been out for a while? It's not new. It's been out for a while. 
It's included in your member benefits. So you can download it from Google Play for Android um, or the Apple Store for your iPhones. They're going to log into it that one time. Um, and then it's all of the same information that they would be able to access from the desktop. It's location based. So it follows agents wherever they go. Uh, they can view parcel information. They can view MLS information. A great resource on the mobile device that agent can create a full blown comparative market analysis from the palm of their hand and create that seller's report. Um, you can set, there's so many things that would be a whole different broadcast with Alice and James because there's so many different things that you can do with a mobile app. It really is a must have for agents to utilize. Perfect. Well, Katie, thank you. Anything else you want to go over with the agent regarding a listing presentation? Well, don't forget to back up or should I say, take a look at that RVM tool that's in RPR and that RVM tool um, is the Realtors Valuation Model. And that is proprietary to RPR. That is a Realtor-centric tool. So Realtors using RPR are the only ones that see that value. It looks at property characteristics and statistics to identify similar properties. It tells you how that value has grown from the last analysis, because we do it every month. We generate an RVM value every month, so you get that month over month and that year over year. But more importantly, it's really that starting off point for an agent to demonstrate their knowledge in their local market, because it's saying, hey, you know, this is the value of the property if everything lines up. Well, nothing in real estate ever lines up. So it no. gives the agent the ability to come in and say, well, this is if your property is in average condition. And there's factors that are going to come into play that could refine their value. There could be an errors and omissions from public record. The square footage could be off. It could be missing a bathroom. They could have done improvements above and beyond what neighboring homes have done. Um, or maybe they want to depreciate the property's RVM value because the property's in financial distress. It's vacant. It's been neglected over time. Or you just have those local market conditions. You know, it's winter. Inventory um, is kind of holding steady. Days on markets increasing. The buyers just aren't there. So when you have just that standard market trends and ups and downs in real estate, you can plug all that into our refinement tool and get a more true to picture price just based on the realtor's expertise for their market. So that's must must have tool in that listing presentation. I do have a couple of questions from uh, our audience. Hi out there. <laughs> um, the question is, can RPR find potential, potential late payment suspects? So not foreclosure, but probably before foreclosure. I'm gonna say probably no. Probably not. No. Um, we pull our financially distressed information either from the MLS, uh, or from public records. So something has to be filed with the clerk of courts in order for us to pull it. And that's normally the Liz pendants. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's what 90 days, right? You have to wait. I don't know it. I think every yeah. lender is different as far as when they actually get to to file that foreclosure. It's not a clear line on how many payments um, so maybe behind. Team, the answer is no. You probably have to wait that it becomes a foreclosure and uh, not With the pre foreclosure. Once that Liz pendants and the intent to foreclose has been filed, we will have that. So after that first step is taken, we'll have that information in RPR. Okay. Now, um, if you're new to RPR or you haven't used it in a while and you want to get an account, what do we do? You just go to our website, which is narrpr.com, and right at the login page, there's a button that says create new account and follow the prompts. It's going to automatically set you up. You're going to put in your email, and it's probably going to say, hey, we already have an account for you. Uh -huh. Click here, look to the bottom of the page, and call our support desk. Our support desk is available 24-7. They're in Omaha, Nebraska, and they'll walk anyone through 
validating their account and getting their password set up. Perfect. And if the broker, if your brokerage partner with RPR, you probably have like regular logging information and it will be branded right away, right? It's branded right away. Perfect. Perfect. Any more questions? No, I think we, we're good to go. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. It was so much Bye. fun. Yes, we love you guys. You do uh, training for us two, three times a week. I'm sure uh, two, three times a year. I'm sure you're going to come over and do a webinar for our agents, uh, which is open to all agents, not just Addison James agent. We welcome everyone. Um, so thank you, Katie, for being here with us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And I hope you guys start using our PR. We will. Bye, Katie. Bye-bye.